We're all our own dragons, as well as our own heroes. We need to save ourselves from ourselves. That's a quote from Tom Robbins in one of the books that he wrote. Something about Mr. Woodpecker, I can't quite remember, but it was quite entertaining. And I particularly like this quote because it does not scapegoat our problems, our dragons, our demons onto another individual, and it does not put the effort of becoming better onto somebody else. The responsibility falls into our arms, into our realm, and it's left up to us to make things better, which is an empowering thought because oftentimes human beings will feel like they're a victim of their past, shackled down to the weights and baggage that has slowly accumulated over the years from the trials and missteps that they've had. But having this mentality where we take responsibility over our melancholic feelings and thoughts and actions, it will give us the autonomy required to take steps. It's sort of like, I believe it's Plato's cave analogy. You have these individuals sitting in a cave and behind them is a fire that's flickering and the only way they experience the world is through the shadows cast on the wall. But then one day, these individuals who are chained and forced to look at the wall, one of them escapes and goes into see the real world, see it as it really is. 3D colors, all this brilliance. And they are broken free from the world and existence they knew to be. And they run back to the cave to tell their friends, like, Oh, I've seen the reality. It's really great and different. And you must come and join me. I can break you free. But they are, they are skeptical. They say he's a madman. And no such thing exists. Everything's in this 2D plane. and just shadows. And this is all that there is. And that's kind of how some of us exist day to day. We are merely observing shadowy puppets on the wall, not truly venturing out to see what could be beyond our own subconscious biases that have been instilled within us through the domestication of existence. Sure, how are you going to experience life unless it's just a, you know, a relative experience through our senses? It's a bit of a doozy, I'll admit, but... Remaining skeptical of your beliefs, especially the ones that you're particularly fond of, can give you the opportunity to break away from the patterns that you've grown accustomed to. So yeah, if you've ever experienced uh, something in particular that you're holding on to, behavioral patterns, certain way of responding to conflict or stimuli, perhaps going down the opposite route and exploring the alternative will give you a little extra spice in your life. That's what I often do when I get a little bit too bored or sassy. So, yes. Uh, venture forth, my friends. Challenge the thoughts you have. Uh, explore that which you do not know. And the only way you can do that is by trying to learn something new. Uh, that's like a decent ramble. Yes, words, words.